Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay. Let's listen to the Juke Jive. Ah, oh, yes. That's beautiful music. I salute you, Juke and Jive. So today is a day with a difficult handicap. And that handicap is known as, Ow, I've got a headache. And, Ow, I got a headache is, a uh, Well, it's a bit of a throb. So if I say anything that's a little ridiculous, Please take into consideration yeah, that's a fire, that's oil on fire. That is not something I stand on. So just take into consideration that if I say anything insane and ridiculous, it's because of the throbbing pain in my forehead, rather than just the insanity that you've grown and become accustomed and even fallen in love with. I'm assuming you've fallen in love with, otherwise, why are you here? And still, just thank you. You're wonderful. Can I cross this way? It's, uh, whatever. It's a little different in my experience than with Fizzy, where I could just cross all bodies of water without even a thought. Now I have to do this plebeian thing and walk along the land. Ugh. God, Far Harbor is gorgeous to look at. I was uh, just thinking about this and a little bit of Nuka World recently today, uh, especially because last episode we had chatted a little bit about how I was thinking on new ways to expand the channel. And I was thinking that tomorrow after this, I might do like uh, five things we learned from Far Harbor we can apply Nuka World kind of video. Oh, hello, dudes. How are you? Oh, that's awesome. He ran to pick up a gun. Well, uh, I think that's pretty cool of you to run and pick up a gun. I mean, it didn't work, but I think that was the right choice. Oh, come on. Just, oh, I only have one more bullet. All right, try this again. Hold the breath. I feel like I was hitting him or her. Don't know which. Anywho, the thought process that I was gonna say was that was this kind of video would be like Let's talk about Nuka World and get up on the Nuka World fun times And then let's also apply it to something that I think would be useful to people Which is that when I started Far Harbor, I really did not know what to expect The idea of like how much death and destruction occurred in the very beginning of that first level was pretty expansive And it was something that I was very surprised by And we are peckish from lack of food Oh yeah, this is the Picasso guy who was up here just painting Oh, I'm sorry, dude I do get your knuckles. Anyway, it was something that I felt like one was a little clickbaity, you know, the seven things you have to know now, or one weird trick kind of shit. And then on top of that, it adds in like something that I consider actually useful, so that people who would actually go and check it out would be like, oh yeah, that is a good point. That when we started Far Harbor, we all almost died. So let's keep in mind to bring all our biggest weapons into the fray, because you don't know what you're gonna meet. And then things like, hey, uh, I know I'm just like revealing all of it to you, but it's just, you know, it's fun to talk these things out loud, and I think it's useful to talk these things out loud. Anyway, then it's like, make sure you have a shit ton of purified water, because if you're in survival mode and you landed in Far Harbor, you realize that there wasn't any easy place to get water except across a friggin' river, <laughs> or the, the water itself. Ugh. Ugh. Except the water itself. Uh, I don't want to run. No, oh, what am I doing? Oh. Well, it hit it. That's at least a good thing. Alright. Come and bring your hellish ways over here, you murlogger bird. Woo! That actually worked out okay. Anyway, what was I going with this? Something about, uh... Oh, they had little eggs! And we lit them on fire. Good! I just heard an egg pop open. There it is, the Mylar Catchling. And we're gonna Mario it! Super Mario! Super Mario! Oh. Fortunately, you cannot Super Mario a uh, Mario or Cashling. But you can punch it and get one meat, which is still useful. Anyway, so you have to go across the ocean in order to get water in the first part if you want purified from a bottle, or you have to take a bunch of dirty waters, and so it's just general stuff that I think would be good to talk about. Be like, hey, reminder, be prepped for needing lots of water. Also, don't go in as if you're your travel self, go in as if you're about to fight a super behemoth self. This isn't about uh, being, you know, light, you know. Don't don't go in expecting to grab a lot of stuff immediately. Go in to carry everything that you need, and then put away as needed. Because like in Far Harbor, likely we'll get something that'll allow us to chill, sit back, and not really worry as much. You know, like when we were able to get the first bed in Far Harbor. It was uh, in the, st not like where I would normally place it. Oh no, it was at the inn. Which is where I normally place it, but what I mean is like I expected to have an actual real bed, not a paper bed. There'd also be a discussion on the fact that you needed to have a skill check, like first thing in Far Harbor. And I bet they're gonna do something similar to that in Nuka World. 
So you want to have people who are ready to be like, okay, so have your grave men tats and your day trippers out because you're going to probably need some science and medicine intelligence stuff. Although, and this is a big thing, if it turns out to be like the pit in uh, Fallout 3, well then it doesn't matter what you do because uh, they're going to steal all your shit immediately. And, uh, but at least that means that you're more balanced. So, there is advantage there. Holy mother of fucks. God, that scares me. Holy crap. That scared me real hard. Alright. Any more? Oh. God. So, my dad uh, is coming to visit me today, and it's gonna be funny because I'm not sure if in the middle of as we're filming, he's gonna knock on the door and I'm gonna be like, Daddy! Oh no. Not Daddy, oh no. Just Daddy, that was a rocket launcher. Yeah. Anyway. And, uh, so I was just bringing that up. So, if all of a sudden I just stop, you see this really weird, tw like, shh. That's, uh, that's what happened. Okay, so now we're gonna be down here. We can still get into Vim fine without dealing with the rocket launcher guy. You know, let's just do that. Let's just say screw it. This survival roleplay is all about just getting in and kicking ass. It's really not about, you know, that exploratory thing. That's not our character. She's all about, let's just kill everybody. What? How wounded? Yep, that would be the case. Oh no! Go! Get out! Oh no! Damn it! <laughs> I was like a child. Oh no! Well, shit. That was uh. <laughs> oh my god! I think that was that might be like my favorite death that I think I've um I've had the pleasure of being involved with. I mean, just out of no, like, we all of a sudden, we run around the corner and there's a dude who's gonna just blow up. So, I do the smart thing and I run away. Smart. On top of it. I am legitimately impressed that the game had the super mutant continue through the door and then blow me up. I, I, so much respect for the game and for that response. It was truly a surprise. Absolutely terrified me. The first time and that second time. I'm not even mad, like, that was just cool. Alright, let's uh, kill this Myrler kill claw again. I was a surprise when the frag grenade actually hit him, but I think I'd rather hit him directly with a Molotov. Especially because it'll kill the babies. Um... Oh, shoot. There we go. Now that'll kill the babies. Ooh, wow, that's so much weaker than, um, the frag grenade. I mean, I know technically that is true. Grenades are crazy powerful. Holy! Oh, well, we're just gonna die from the crab, aren't we? Okay. Good thing I'm hungry, so I have a reason to eat. How about a grilled rad stack? We need a little increase in carry weight, too. Whew. Last bullet. Always gonna be the last bullet. Alright, so note to self. Uh, there is a very detonating nuke monster right at the door <laughs> as you're entering. So, looking out for the nuke mutant. Nuke mutant. I'm surprised I haven't called them nuke mutants before. That even just like rolls off the tongue. I. If you have good spetchin, then it rolls off the tongue. But if you're struggling with your spetchin like this kid, then uh, not as good. All right, let's uh, let's go take out these oogies. Get the dogs out of the way, real quick. I'm gonna hold on to this gun still because we're doing okay with the luckies. There we go. Come on, doggies. Come on. There we go. We got two so far. We only have one more to go. Actually, we seem kind of calm now. Not bad. Hello. Oh, wait. Explosions. Never mind. Running back. <laughs> Change of plans. You know, I always think that, that little spot seems like this should be a bed. It's, uh, it's just a plank of wood. And I mean, once again, I get it. Gameplay-wise, you only save it where you're allowed to save. Part of me still feels like I would sleep anywhere in this world. And also, some of these beds look like something I might prefer a plank. Alright, let's try uh, this way. Okay, Vim. Pilot lady. Mutant hound. And we're already in danger. Still in danger. It's a mutant hound to my left. Come on, boy. Keep picking your head through there. 
All right, well, as long as we don't hear a, a nuke mutant. Oh, God, that's an actual mutant. Um, then we should be okay. Shooting at them legs. Technically, this says extra damage to the feet, so I should be using the feet more. Ooh. Ring for service. Oh, God. All right. Oh, wow, that was actually really cool. I didn't realize that it would um knock the boards down. I have also never entered Vim from this direction. Holy crap. Whoopsie doos. Yeah, I've, uh, I've never entered the Vim factory from this side before. Okay, we're gonna go on a little exploration experience because I've never done this part. First though, we have to go on finishing the killing experience. All right, all right. Hell yeah, I'll take a fried fog crawler. Rage, rage. Oh wow, they've knocked down all our cover. That's actually really cool. I mean, not from a strategic standpoint, but from like a good run, you silly face. Yeah, that's right, it's a silly face. I get them parts from lack of water. Could it have to do with all these bullet holes I have in me? So that all my blood is leaving? Hey! How's the flame feeling? Oh, get you! God damn it! I feel like the amount of times I have like a jump when I'm playing one of these games is enough that it could be like a good, let's say like, a brisk walk. Like, even though I'm sitting down and technically it's like, oh, that's not exercise. The amount of moments that my heartbeat just goes from like average to insanely high from being scared. I would say, yeah, it's a brisk walk. Feels good. Fallout 4, keeping you healthy since whenever the hell Fallout 4 started. 2015 November. I immediately got confused because I was thinking of Fallout in general. Okay, yeah, so I've never really experienced this area before, like the tour terminals and just some of this stuff. I don't know why there's a Nuka Cherry at the Vim F Pop Factory. Seems uh, somebody was doing a little espionage. Why do they have clothing? Like, Vim clothes? I didn't even know that was a thing. This is, a. Uh, I guess he's flushing him to sleep with the fishes. Is that the joke that's happening here? Oh, they have a Vim Theater. Oh, that's pretty cool. Can I get, get this thing to turn on? Oh, this is where I came in through. Does that mean the... Oh, no. Does that mean we have our nuke friend? Some more... Wait, did we kill him already, then? We might have already killed him. Which is odd, because I don't remember there being a nuclear exploding dude anywhere. Captain's Blend. All the new Vims. This guy detonated as he was pooping. Poor dude. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. I'll give you your privacy. I feel like I might have actually been through here before, but I'm not 100% sure. I know for a fact I didn't go through the bottom level. Ah, clearly the best room in the entire- Ooh, maybe it is the best room. Nope, damn. I can do this. I can pick locks midair. It's a talent of all the Kublai Khans. That's it. I like how I continued the fall though after I opened it. That was pretty funny. All right, uh, V, where are we now? Oh, okay, I gotcha. See, I definitely didn't see this fountain. This is sick. Now the next step would be to find a nice save. Maybe some of these advanced doors actually are gonna carry something that'll keep us alive in it. Yes. All right, door. Well, as we can see, we have exactly nothing that I was hoping for. I mean, stim pack's okay, but I don't need antifreeze. I wanted a place to rest. Actually, this has a, ooh, ooh, this is a door to somewhere. Okay, like most doors, it goes somewhere, but what I meant was like, it's not gonna go outside. It's, uh, it's a door to a location to allow me to go to the outside Sweet. door itself. Like, there's a step here. CEO's terminal. Security's too oh, tight. Oh, that's cool. I've, uh, not had the chance to look through that. That takes us to the island. Interesting. Yeah, I've never gone through here, because I've never had a door that could be opened that way, and I could never... Oh, oh that's sick. Alright, well, carrying on. Oh, crap, we're going to the roof. You know, we're on the roof, but... This doesn't feel as roof-like to me. Okay, uh, it's still relatively roofy to me. Someone there? Shh, nobody is here. You know, interesting fact: uh, the green stuff is supposed to be the um, the FEV kind of thing. The, that's the virus that with the forced evolutionary virus. I'm gonna drop some of these auto pistols. They uh, they're fun, but we actually don't need really much of them. They're not valuable really either. There we go. Basically threw down an entire armory right here. Anyway, the FEV virus was the thing that turned humans into the super mutants. 
which I've always thought was pretty interesting. Like general radiation. There he is. Okay. Um. I'm in a hole. Just. Okay, we're gonna get some mines out. Okay. Okay. Back out of the way. Oh no. We might have to jump, guys. Holy crap! Time to jump. <laughs> uh, this place is scary. You know what's? We gotta find a bed. Gotta find a little bed somewhere. Okay. Well, um, I'm not lost, but we're underneath the front of the uh, Super Moon's location now. I don't see any beds underneath the bridge. Jesus Christ, that was insane of a moment. Um, very close. Way too close. Alright, looking at the map, I, uh... There doesn't really seem to be anything close to us because of the water. There might be something just to, uh... That's where we came from. Might be something in this direction. I seem to recall... This is a truck that crashed. I seem to recall that there was, in fact, a house over this way. But, um... Is it really smart to continue, like, into the deep? Well, if there's a trapper there, that could mean a bed. I'm gonna have some more Myler meat while we're at this and back off a little bit. See if we can uh, get these trappers onto the recon scope. I don't see anything. Oh, that's because they're over there. There's the next trapper. Okay. And there's that guy. Okay, perfect. All right, we can uh, now hit people with some grenades and the like. All right, that's for you. Oh, the legendary trapper. He's just running with a, a hook? Well, he's mutated, but his legs are broken. So that's working out really well in our favor. All right, that's the next guy. I'm gonna take out the luckies. And we're gonna go for... Oh, we don't have enough AP for this. All right, for you? Still not enough AP. Now we do. Critical power. Oh, yes. Shooting bodies out from underneath the heads. Such joy. All right, I don't know where the last one is. Grants additional higher reds. It's kind of cool. Not going to do it, though. It's just kind of cool. All right, well, yeah, there's a bed out this way, so potentially uh, we'll be good. Now, I swear I've only killed two. And we're in caution now, so I'm guessing that we're... Found him. There we go. Get our bats up. That gah sounded like a cat that was just like sneaking and coming up on us in the dark. My heart beating? Oh god, my heart just spikes all the time when fighting you guys. Well, sure. I missed a 95% chance. Now that is special. That is absolutely special. I like make the assumption that 95% chance is always gonna hit. There you go. Rare cases, it doesn't. Good the idea. Get you. The fog gets everyone. you know, I agreed with that. Um, actually, I did not agree with that. Let me phrase that. When I was once the other dude. But uh, now I can see it. There we go. Perfect. And there's a bed. And we're hidden. And it's a sweet gun. Ooh, this was the right choice. The absolute right choice to come and get this save. Oh man, so many terrifying things that the Super Moons had. So many terrifying things that are out here. I cannot go upstairs because our character is incapable of ducking. All right, uh, we're making it back. Let's uh, hop back inside the factory and try this again, shall we? All right, so this way we have a moved up save. We got another legendary under our belts. This place is more or less safe. So if we were able to find somebody who would sleep here over the weekends, I mean, poor soul to have to work that long. Thank you, Soul, for leaving a bed, because survival mode is tough. Okay, so I hear shooting already. And this is also a different spot than where we went into prior to this. I mean, uh, we came in here prior. Ooh. Well, let's knock this down. We came in here prior and hit the roof, and that was a very different location. This is a little bit better. Also, I was talking about the FEV virus thing. I think it's the forced evolutionary virus, so the... Oh, God. Don't fall. Thank you. Looks like I might have to fall, though. 
There he is. Okay, hold on. If we can cripple them legs. I think that's the right idea. Cripple them legs. All right, next, shoot the gun out of his hand. Oh, we're just out of that. Um, jump back, okay. All right, and that's the next step. Now he's mutated. Oh, oh, it's slow time because we got to the 20%. Oh, that's also terrifying, but uh, that's useful. The legendary slow time went off. I don't know how he hit us though. I've you see it going through the wall, right? There we go. Hit two. Holy crap, how does he keep getting it through? Come on, you know what, we're go- No, yes, no, I don't know. I don't- Am I out? Oh, I'm out of grenades. Oh, okay. Um, just crouch and hide over here. I bet there's no way that his bullets will get through up here. Yeah, this will do. Ooh, hold on, we got a headshot right here. Oh, and wait, we just leveled up though. I swear it was 33 before. What was I thinking? I must have thought I was a higher level or something. Yeah, I must have thought I was a higher level or something. Um, I'm saying actually we should take bloody best because that's gonna be more useful immediately. So let's do that. Okay, there's already people here. You, uh, you mean very little to me. Once again, I'm missing 95%, you know what, I don't need to do that critical. I'm missing 95% chance shots right now. I'm a little disappointed in our character. I mean, I get you can't be number one all the time, but I just like, come on. When chambering the final round in the magazine. This is a really cool idea. If it was like a harpoon gun, which hold on, look at that, like barrel, that's crazy. Really cool idea if this is like a harpoon gun. Um. But, uh, or like a sniper rifle with a really low magazine. But, I don't like an automatic weapon, we're... You know, that final shot isn't high damage. I'm not trying to get a headshot with that final shot. I'm trying to pour just as many bullets as possible into someone. This is where we came through? No, this is just another door in the Vim corporate headquarters. Which I could have taken. Odd. Anyway, FEV, blah 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 blah, makes the super mutants who they are from normal humans. Interesting how radiation turns people into ghouls, whether, you know, feral or otherwise. And uh, the FEV would turn people into the super mutants. Also, there's a bunch of mole rats just appeared. That's what that sound is. To kind of add to the, uh, oh, that's right. I don't really need to explore, do I? I need to just find Dima's thing. God, I get so caught up in my normal exploratory, like, mindset. Which is super fun about these games, for sure. But that's just not how our character exists. We're here to see the most ultimate dead ever. Like, that's our point. We gotta keep that in mind. That's what matters to us, as players. Okay, uh, I get that you're actually, you were accidentally hitting the meat bag. Okay. I'm gonna have some more fried fop crawler. Let's just keep eating that up. Alright, going up. I'm hearing mole rats and they're very disgusting sounding. <gasps> Ooh, let's cheat the system real quick. Let's cheat the system real quick. Yes! Perfect. Now one thing that's somewhat disappointing about, you know, when you put on this suit, ah, is that, uh, oh wow, that took a lot of health. One thing that is disappointing about putting on this suit is it takes away the other benefits of your other weapons. So we won't have like a slow time event. Jeez, okay. But we will just get that extra DR, which is just gonna be really helpful. Uh, this would be a good example of having the extra super mutant protection, wouldn't it? Well, I took your leg off, that's good. Alright, we, we've had to switch to this better gun. It's just, it's a safety issue now. I am enjoying drinking Nuka-Cola's inside the Qu Vim Pop Factory. There you are. Alright, I'm using a lot of vats right now just because I'm trying to be really accurate with everything that we're doing. Okay, I think that's everybody. I don't recall there being any beds up here. Re recall actually stopping playing the game here, but not that there was a bed. What's nice is technically an exit save would work here, uh, but I've just haven't had a lot of luck with them, so I don't really want to take the risk. Oh, that sound is terrifying, combined with uh, the mole rats popping out. Where'd that stupid dog go? Stupid dog, get out there. 
All right, he's trying to get down here, but I'm also confused on how to get here. Oh man, I'm just trying to find Dima's thing. Leave me alone. Aha, you can't open doors. That's so untrue. Dogs can open doors in this game. It's actually pretty funny because they don't have thumbs. All right, let's grab the luckies back out again. Oh, snake. Uh, dogs have terrified me, this girl. Headshot for the brute. So, wouldn't we fire three shots? That only sounded like two. Hold on, I, you're a human too. Just, just calm down. Where are you? There you are. Phew. Nice, we ashed his head, but not his body. Okay, um... Oh, we're still in danger. God damn it. Ow. Jesus, they're everywhere. Take him out. I know that we probably could have gotten away without using a critical, but just... Save one shot, why not? Still in danger. Really happy to use this fusion core though. It's uh, definitely been helping with this. Also, it gives us that extra strength to carry stuff, so that's kind of nice. Just, couldn't somebody have worked here? Oh, crap. Okay. Holy shnike. Uh, how is anybody feeling about the psycho buff? I'm feeling good about the psycho buff. Oh, All right. Bring it. Okay, that's really weird hearing her voice through the uh, speaker thing saying, rah, bring it. Oh, there's the guy we wanted to shoot. All right, hold on. Can I shoot his arms? P potentially his gun out of his arms? Uh, he's dead, which is a good start. Ooh, we're getting hurt. We are getting hurt. Nuke Cherry. Jesus Christ. Reloads. Reloads, man. Oh, don't get too close. Oh, we have death claw stakes. Taking those. Backing off. We're able to hit his feet through uh, the little crack. Whew. Oh man, that was tough. That was very tough. Anyway, okay. When you're sneaking and not moving. That's the one where uh, you turn invisible, I think. Which is really cool of an idea, but it ends up uh, not working very well. It's not like the Chinese armor that existed in uh, the game prior. Alright, so there's a lot of cool stuff here, but unfortunately there isn't any save. And we've just hit the end. Where uh, we're about to talk to... Um, or not talk to, but we're about to get the Dima information that we wanted. But you know what? Why not? Let's get ourselves in there. Security door opened. Grabbing some more ammo. And uh, let's take a little trip down to uh, Sadness Lane. Pretty cool looking suit. I like it. Ground floor. Now, who was this, I wonder? They had a gun. They're buying the, uh, the brain fungus, which now I wonder if someone gets shot and there's blood left on the wall that just leaves brain fungus. Same thing here, did their head just explode and it leaves brain fungus? I forgot that the suit also helps protect you from radiation, which is going to be useful down here. Alright, let's uh, let's do this part. God, this was such a cool part of Far Harbor. I loved it. Cool, but I didn't realize that actually, you don't have to go through Kyle. I, uh, we don't need Kyle, we got everything that we needed. So uh, Kyle, thank you. And um, I don't need that shotgun that's in there. Screw it, we got a weapon that we want. We're a... Uh, we're a free woman, we do what we'd like to. Okay, so there is one thing that I would like to do that is not out of character 100%, but would be kind of it, which would be to release the super mutant behemoth that is here. However, being that's survival mode and we have an end goal, I think that should be something that we get back to. That's not something that we start with. Because you know, the goal is to destroy all of Far Harbor and killing the behemoth is cool, but I almost feel like leaving him here is worse, right? Like, that'll be much more damage than if we were to uh, take him out. The only reason we'd be taking him out is just the joy of having something so powerful and difficult to do. Alright, we're out to the island. Hopefully uh, we're not about to get hit by a rocket launcher because I would like to find a save. Okay, we're good so far. Still hidden. I legitimately don't know where we are. But... I can tell that we're outside. All right, we know that there is, in fact, a house right over there behind us that we could go to. But I'm thinking if we could just... Oh, God. All right, 
They know that I'm here, but they don't know where exactly I am here. That makes sense, right? <laughs> All right, we're on the outside. Holy crap, we should be okay. Yes! Oh, I wonder if this is another place to let the super mutants out. That would be sick. You just... Oh man, if we could do that, then that would be the choice we'd make. To release them onto the island. No one's ever coming back to Far Harbor after that. Alright, so we're in the suit. Okay, we're taking a lot of radiation right now. But I think it's okay. Just keep running along the side. Ooh. Oh, baby. Nice. All right, once we get our, to our save, I'm gonna ditch the suit because uh, we won't need it once we get to that point. I'm gonna take the cross here because the radiation's being protecting us through the suit. Oh god, we might we might be free and clear, dudes. Yeah, that's a, looks like we're free and clear. Man, doing this like this way without really exploring and the like and just sort of like getting shit done. This is quick. This is like every episode, single episode, is the entire bit of like the piece to destroy Far Harbor. Oh my god. I am amazed. All right, our character's gonna be really injured. He's very overweight, but that's fine. Just stroll around that. Oh, <sighs> well, that was damn close. So, uh, whew, dudes, we got that far. That is perfect. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Wow, we are yeah cranking along with the Dima thing and the Avery thing and. We already have, or we almost have, the bomb right now. We know where the bomb is, but we're just going to continue on that, and we're going to just start setting everything off. Whew, I'm excited. Can't wait to uh, release the fog, release the boom, and uh, release the Far Harbor people. It's going to be good. So anyway, dudes, thanks again for watching. It's a total joy to have you here. If you liked what we saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and of course, when the ground rises to meet your feet, the wind always be at your back, and the sun shone warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.